Hey and welcome back. Today I am sharing with you my thoughts on three different PDF mitt patterns. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for clicking on this video. It was something that I saw kind of around Pinterest. A lot of people were asking what kind of mitts patterns there were out there and how they were for fit and were they like the pancake style where the thumb just comes out to the side kind of like an oven mitt or were they the two different piece I decided to do a comparison video. So again, thank you for clicking on this video. I would really, really like if you hit that subscribe button. If you don't know already, I am trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of the year and it's not unreachable, but I do need your help. So please hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 300 subscribers by the end of 2019 as we jump into the next decade of the millennium. So what happened was I made these mitts just a it was a free Pinterest template thing that I used and I ended up making them lined and I just kind of roll them over like this and if I want to have them longer then I just unroll it which has been really nice but I posted a picture on some of the Facebook groups I'm in sewing Facebook groups and of course everybody was asking you know what pattern I used and all this and it was actually a pattern I had seen previously mentioned in sewing groups and when I had found myself on Pinterest. But other people were commenting other patterns. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I try them all and share my results? So because these were my first pair and this was before I had planned to do this tutorial or this comparison video, I don't have any shots of me making them or anything like that. So, so I will just go over them kind of as they are here. The other two patterns I tried were the Jingle Mitts from Petite Stitchery or the Twinkle Mitts. I'm really not sure what they're called. There's two different names and they will be these gray ones that you see. And the other pattern was the Max and Mina Mary Mittens and they are the purple ones that you will see. I'm gonna start this off by saying these are all very comparable patterns and you can't really go wrong with any of them. The Mary Mittens is a free pattern when you join the Maximina Facebook group. The Pinterest pattern obviously is free and then the Petite Stitchery Twinkle Mittens are free right now. I believe they are still on sale for free because it was a new release pattern. So I will make sure to link these all in the description box for you so you can easily find what you're looking for. So first of all, I'm gonna go over the Pinterest one because that was the first ones I made. I like this pattern. The only thing I changed was I made it lined. So all I did for that was to make two mitts and then connect them together at the cuff. I like I like this pattern because there was a lot of room for adaptation and hacking on if you wanted to change the cuff or not. So what I loved about this pattern was that it was really adaptable. I do like the longer style and then that it can be rolled over. You could hack this and make it an actual cuff if you wanted, but here in Canada, we get hella cold, like hella cold. Like uh, this past week, we came out of a cold snap where it was like minus 27 during the day. <laughs> I don't go out much, but these have helped for taking the dog for a walk and stuff like that. And it's actually so warm that my hands are sweating in these when it's just regular temperatures. And I just used faux leather for the outside and then fleece on the inside super warm. So what I don't like about this pattern is that it only comes in one size. Obviously, free Pinterest tutorial, that's what you're gonna get. I'm kinda like right at the top end of this. My fingers touch right at the top. That's fine for me. Obviously, they fit me just fine. But it means if I wanted to make these for like my mom or somebody who has larger hands like, or even men, I would have to alter the pattern, which let's be real. Ain't nobody got time for that. So that's a downfall, but I will say this is the absolute best tutorial that there was out of all the instructions. I recommend this one if you're kind of new to sewing or not really sure what to do with certain 
seams and that. This is the only one that mentioned clipping and notching and trimming seam allowances and which way to lay the seam allowances when you're attaching different pieces. So I actually recommend the instructions for this pattern for all of the mitts because you'll use the same basic techniques so I still want you to go and check this out and kind of follow the instructions for this one no matter which pattern you decide to use. One other thing I will say about this pattern is the thumb seems kind of off. I don't know if it's just because my hand is so big on here or what but it doesn't seem like it's the seam is in the right place so again this could easily be altered but I'm gonna wear them because I love them and I've been wanting a pair of leather mitts and never ever thought to make them for myself. Next I'll talk about the, the Maximina Mary Mittens and these were really good too. For these other two, I, I just did the one layer of fleece. I did not line them or anything because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. So the Mary Mittens seem to fit a lot better. I'll have to pop on the screen here what size I made because I can't remember offhand between the two patterns which was which. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to say about these because they were just so easy, so similar to each other. The okay, so I have my two patterns laid out for the Maximina Merry Mittens and then the Petite Citrie Jingle Mittens. Uh, I just want to show you a couple differences on the pieces themselves. So the Maximina has this really long mitten. And then the bottom part of the other side is long as well. And then the cuff is small. And then on the petite stitchery, the hand parts are smaller. And then the cuff is larger. So we will see how those turn out. And then the free one um, from Pinterest is similar to this. I can show you the pattern pieces. Here. The instructions um, were again kind of lacking in certain areas. The the like most of the construction was really straightforward, but again, I do refer recommend referring back to that Pinterest instruction tutorial blog. These ones, the cuff is a little bit bigger than um, than the other ones I'm going to show you and they're a little bit shorter as well So it kind of just depends on personal preference how you like it You could do a lot of fun things with this, but they fit great They and I want to say too about the Mary Mittens from Maximina. They had the option of m making this longer and then you wouldn't have a cuff, they would end up being reversible So if you're doing the two layer one, you could do that. I Turns out I just cut the mittens wrong <laughs> And I did. I planned to make the cuffed version, but I cut at the longer version. So now I'm just going to trim them down to the cuff cut line. And then make this one the exact same. So that would have been for the reversible option, but I did not make the reversible option. Option I'm making the cuffed option to compare apples to apples. All these mitts were a super simple, fast sew. So I would say from printing your pattern to wearing your mitts, probably half an hour. So they are very fast and they make great gifts. So highly recommend mitts just for anybody on your list. Then these are the twinkle mitts, jingle mitts, whatever you wanna call them from Petite Stitchery, they're new. Uh, the one thing I don't really like about this is, I'm not going to say I don't like them, the, the one thing that's different about these ones are the thumb is tighter, so I just noticed it. I don't think it's an issue. Maybe if you lined it or had something that was really not stretchy, it would be more of an issue, but they're cozy and everything is fine. The cuffs on them are tighter, which I like a lot better. I like a tighter cuff to keep the snow out. But other than that, I guess this one fits a little bit snugger, like a little bit smaller around my hand. Again, I will put the size that I used on the screen here for you guys. And I really can't say which is my favorite. So any of these mitts patterns would be a great option for you, especially if you're thinking of Christmas gifts for teachers, neighbors, bus drivers, whoever is on your list that you really don't know what to get. You can't go wrong with a pair of handmade mitts. And thanks so much for watching. Again, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Yes, I am basically begging you because I want to hit that goal by the end of the year. Catch you next time and Merry Christmas.